what's up everyone welcome back to my channel um i did say that i wanted to do a talk through video and one of my subscribers suggested that i talk about some of my first clients so i'm going to show you guys a really pretty spring makeup look spring summer whatever <laughs> and i'm going to basically talk to you guys this is my first time so bear with me if i ramble on forgive me but we're going to get started and then that way i can kind of talk to you guys about some of the products that i use and why i use them and whatever whatever so let's hop right into the tutorial all right so i get asked all the time what do i use for my eyebrows it's been the same thing. I swear it's been the same thing for like the last eight months. It is the brow gel and espresso. That's what we're going to start off with. Okay. And I'm just using a, a little angled MAC brush, 208. And I'm going to start going to town. All right. So who am I? My name is Nas. And I've been doing makeup for almost, for like two and a half years now. Um, someone wanted me to address like how did I start out and what were some of my like first jobs. I guess I'll give you guys like a little bit of background. When I was growing up my mom used to wear these vibrant colors on her face and I used to think that was the only way that, only way that you could wear makeup so it kind of like scared me. Like I really didn't even get into makeup until my adulthood. I ended up working, I was working at Comcast, this cable company. And I was so miserable there. I started watching YouTube videos and um, getting into makeup a little bit more. Like in the mornings, I would like turn on my YouTube videos after I would work out. I started seeing like, you don't have to just wear your makeup vibrant like my mom was. I was like, okay, there's ways you can do this. So I started buying makeup and I started playing with it. And um, I've always been into art. So I guess that's how... Um, I guess that's how I picked it up so easily. Like, I was, like, in advanced art classes and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I was horrible. Like, even though I was into art and I kind of, like, knew what I was doing there, I was, it was really bad. I sucked at makeup. But you can tell me and my friends nothing. Like, we were popping. We were on hunting. But, yeah, I was working at Comcast and eventually, I like, I knew that that's not what I wanted to do when I started seeing that get paid from doing makeup so that's what sparked my interest as far as becoming an actual makeup artist so yeah once I seen that you could like make money from it and everything I was like oh okay honey now we're going somewhere but um it, it just gave me hope like okay I don't have to sit here because I honestly didn't know what I wanted to do like I was going to school for fashion merchandising but like once I started you know going to school for that I was like do I even really want to do this I don't think this is what I want to do so I just was kind of like at a standpoint I didn't know what I wanted to do and once I found makeup it was like okay I'm really good at this and having that inspiration from like Instagram Facebook and then YouTube in general it's like okay I could do this I was like I want to make a career out of this and then I started just educating myself um I didn't go to school or anything like that but I would buy books and I would read I literally like breathe makeup like I would look up how to sanitize and what brushes to get and how to work on dry people and oily people and stuff like that I would use my friends um, and that's basically how I got started a lot of like my first gigs and my first clients definitely came from lying like I would definitely lie like oh yeah I've done this before I've done that before but you gotta fake it till you make it honey and by lying I ended up booking like one of the dopest fashion shows that I've ever done working with some amazing artists, which one of the artists turned out to be, um, later on, turned out to be my manager at MAC. So, by doing that though, I met a lot of people. I learned how to work in a fast-paced environment. I started working with a, a really nice photographer, shout out to Polo, but I started working with this photographer in Minnesota and he gave me some of my first, first, like, jobs. I was able to have photos for, um, clients to see like potential clients to see and other like directors of like events and stuff and it would look nice so I would definitely recommend connecting with a photographer doing some trade work not necessarily getting paid but at least you're getting photos for it and stuff like that but um that's definitely how I got started and I just once it started going I just didn't let that momentum slow down and I just kept going with it 
So now I'm going to go in with the clear mascara from, I believe it's Maybelline. And um, I'm just using this to lay my brows down in place, you know. I think this is like a dollar. I believe it's like a dollar. And it's really nice to just set your brows in place. I need my eyebrows done so bad, so please don't judge me, y'all. Okay? Next, I'm going to go in with this Mario Badescu Rose Water. This stuff smells so good. Like, it smells like you're laying in a bed of roses. Like, I guess hence the rose what whatever i just feel like it like freshens me up before i put on my makeup and stuff like that you know so this little red joint over here needs to disappear so i'm just gonna add a little green ante and i don't really have like dark bags under my eyes um like i normally do so i should be fine oh i'm breaking out like crazy and i think it's because of my move i'm from minnesota but i've just relocated to las vegas like a month ago so my skin's been tripping on me so just bear with me so yeah after i um started like booking shows and getting gigs and stuff like that i was like you know what i need you know i feel like i need more education i need to know i'm working with all these people and i definitely took advantage of the people that i was working with too like i would ask them about products that they like to use um see how they work with their clients see what was in their kit don't be afraid to ask because nine times out of ten they're just you know they're gonna respond unless they're a hater <laughs> But I fortunately did not work with any haters and everybody was willing to share information and stuff like that. That's what that's what was really dope about the whole situation. Then I started working at, um, I picked up jobs at Macy's, like I worked at Lancome, Estee Lauder. That helped me work with mature skin because a lot of my clients that I was getting, they were all like, my age or maybe a little bit older but as far as like um mature skin estee lauder really helped me out because i was lost i was like okay what am i gonna do do i apply this on them is that too much is it gonna set in the wrinkles like it just it was a lot so with me not having gone to school um definitely working somewhere that was involved in makeup and around all these other beauticians and artists and estheticians and stuff like that definitely was able to soak up so much knowledge from them which definitely helped after working for macy's um i decided you know i felt like i needed more artistry and um by now like i'm booking appointments i'm booking a lot of appointments and that's another thing i marketed myself really well like i would um that's kind of like all I talked about on my social media. Like I never talked about like my personal life or anything like that. Everyone knew me as Nas or Makeup by Nas or Nas that does makeup. That really helped um, really quick. I'm just going to set my spots with translucent powder. That way they don't disappear. Um, but moving on. I would um, market myself really good and I felt like I needed more artistry um so then I applied with the help of my good friend Brenna she encouraged me to apply at MAC um she's a really dope makeup artist I'm gonna put her Instagram below but um she encouraged me she's like girl you definitely got what it takes and I was like oh my gosh I don't know like I was intimidated by MAC like a lot of people probably are because you go in there and them girls are beat like even though I was beat like they were beaten working for MAC I was just beat for myself um i was freelancing all this time i've been working for myself for the last two and two year one and a half years or whatever the point was at that time um but then i applied for mac and i got the job i ended up getting the job and yeah i was working with the dope makeup artist that i was working with when i first got my first fashion show i think it was great like it was a really really dope experience i met a lot of dope people i met some amazing artists that taught me like definitely i would encourage if you're self-taught get a job in makeup because you're going to learn so much stuff from all these other people you're going to meet other people opportunities come flowing in like i would definitely recommend that foundation i'm going to use is the locket foundation this is my second time using it so we're gonna see how it works oh, okay. i'm just gonna dab it on dab it squirts it whatever it yeah so i started doing that and i met some really amazing people and on top of i mean on top of meeting amazing people working for an amazing company um you get bomb discounts, honey. So as a makeup artist, this stuff is not cheap. You got to buy a lot of products. I'm 
liking this foundation so far. Like, I normally use Infallible Pro Matte, and if you've been following me, you know that that is my holy grail. That is my go-to, but I've been trying to find some other foundations, you know, just to try some stuff out. And honestly, I feel like the matte ain't working for Mama no more. Um, I don't know. I've been getting a little bit more dry. I'm telling y'all, my skin has been tripping, and I've been getting, like, a little bit of texturedness on my chin, and um since i've been here and my infallible was like boo stop it this ain't working i tried to switch it up and see how this is gonna treat mama <laughs> first time i really liked it we're gonna see how it is today Next, I'm going to go in with Pure Beige, and this is from LA Girl, the HD Pro Concealers. And I've seen this a thousand times, so I ain't no need to explain what I'm doing. So, yeah, um, that was basically it. Um, after working for Mac for a while and leaving for personal issues, um, I honestly was getting really, really busy. And the thing with Mac, um, I was working for Nordstrom's for Mac so it wasn't like directly through Mac and they wouldn't allow me to freelance and um it just didn't work out for me as far as like the hours go and uh, as far as the hours went and stuff like that so I had to make that executive decision and continue to work for myself um I even like uh, I wanted to apply for Mac itself but they weren't hiring at the time and it just was a lot um i would have loved to stay with them but it just didn't work out um, as far as me getting really really busy and getting more work and and stuff like that so then i mean during all this time people ask like how did how did i gain so many clients a lot of it came from word of mouth i feel like if you do a good job and you're well, you're focused on you you're not focused on drama and stuff like that like the clients are going to come they're going to refer you first of all especially if you do a really good job and um yeah have a website be professional um and yeah the clients come back they do come back and if they don't come back you did something wrong sugar doing a lot within that sh like the short span of two years like i did a lot like i was just going from the next thing going to the next thing and um i started hosting makeup classes and stuff like that and then I was like, okay, I love special effects and that's what actually prompted my move to Las Vegas. I wanted to get that education. I wanted to further my career. I feel like I was like at a plateau. Like, yeah, I love doing bridal makeup. I love doing, you know, birthdays and stuff like that. But it's like, okay, what's next? You know? So that's when I packed up and I moved and that's what I'm doing here. And then eventually I feel like I'll take that, take what I learned and bring it back to Minnesota and then kind of like, you know, regroup. Like, okay, this is the plan now. This is what we're going to do now. I had this goal, I accomplished that. I had this goal, I'm accomplished that. So I'm just kind of like, I'm just trying to elevate, you know, just trying to make sure that I'm progressing and not standing still. I would highlight my forehead, but um, I got bangs, so it's like a waste of product. Now I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and a pointed foundation brush to get in the inner corners of my eye and just set. Gosh, I literally like had glitter explode in my makeup bag and... So if I have a glittery face, that's exactly why. I've been doing my like baking like this um, lately because I feel like you don't you just wasting a lot of product when you're putting all that dang powder underneath your eyes and stuff like that. Um, just you know just dab it on and then that way you don't lose that highlight underneath um, and you don't look like you don't look like super cakey or whatever you know you know you know. Uh, uh. Yeah, like I said, I don't pack it under. Like, I still pack it, but I don't pack it. You get it? All right, so for my eyes, I'm just going to prime it with the same concealer um, I actually put on to highlight. And I'm using this as a base. 
Now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite blending brushes, which is the taper blending brush from Sigma, the E35. So yeah, I'm now I'm just taking saddle and I'm just like kind of like brushing it. I, honestly, I had an idea of what I was going to do, but now I'm just going to kind of like, we just going to go with the flow, y'all. We're just going to wing this, okay? Okay. So I'm just taking that concealer brush that I use to like shape out my brows and I'm using this to like carve out um, my crease. So I just kind of like carve it out and make my own, make my own. And yeah, that's how I do it. I really don't want to put a color on my actual lid. I'm just going to put some translucent powder on top of it. This will basically just mute out the the shine from the concealer. Now y'all about to witness my struggle. Like people always ask like, oh, how do you do wing liner? And I'm like, y'all, I still struggle with wing liner. Like I say it all the time, I don't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe when I'm doing it. So I should shut up talking right now. I'm gonna shut up talking right now. So I already went ahead and did this eye. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye. I'm just gonna start lining the um, bottom of my eye. So my lash line. And yeah, this is gonna be my base. So you guys already know this. Any kind of, if you have a shadow that you want to be really popping and you want it to show up really nice and bright and vibrant, just use a nice white base and NYX's jumbo pencil is super bomb for that. I'm using a red <clears throat> eyeshadow but y'all it's looking a little pinky so I had to like really pile it on to get the color payoff I was looking for. I hope I was like kind of helpful as far as like tips on how to start out and I hope you guys enjoyed my story. There ain't nothing much to it. I mean I <laughs> I quit my job. I had an idea, quit my job, and been going hard ever since. You kind of just got to go with the flow, and you only live once, so take advantage of any opportunity that it is that you want to do. You want to be a doctor? Be a doctor. You know? You want to be a basketball player? Pick up a ball. <laughs> you just got to you just gotta go for what it is that you want. I don't know. I feel like this is as good as I'm going to get with this little ashy yellow. So we're probably going to leave it right there. Um, I still have like my setting powder and stuff on. So I'll probably dust that off and add a little bronzer to contour and warm up my face a little bit. And then we'll go to my lips. I'm just going to warm up my face using the True Complex Contour Palette from Black Radiance. And I really like this palette, you guys. Like it is really nice for it to be so inexpensive i think it was like six bucks or seven bucks at walmart and i mean hey six forty six forty i spent six <clears throat> i'm just warming up my face could have definitely used a bigger brush but you know i'm being a little lazy so we gonna sculpt out this double chin I've definitely gained <laughs> a nice amount of weight. They say, you know, once you get into like a relationship, you gain a relationship weight. Because you just be kicking it and you be eating, you be kicking it and you be eating. Like, it's exactly what happened to me. But mama needs to get back on it. I, you know, I wish I could be like Adrea or, you know, Man, I, don't, I think she gained like two pounds. Or you guys, do you guys follow Raven Elise here on YouTube? Like, 
talk about snapback but like she mentioned like she's always been like really small and stuff like that but body looks amazing and her little baby's so cute but my little baby my little baby five so there's no excuse for me <laughs> no excuse at all before i move on to my lips um i'm gonna go on with these eyelashes Let that dry before I put some mascara on just to blend these little bad boys. Yeah, a little dramatic or whatever, but that's okay. That is okay. All right, so I went ahead and muted out my lips with some concealer and um, some setting powder. So these colors show up the way I'm hoping they show up. So I'm going to go in with a uh, red lip liner and this is Ruby Woo and I'm just going to start by lining my lips. I really probably should have exfoliated. Like ever since I got this lip piercing, my lips stay so, so, so dry. And I swear, like I exfoliate quite often. Um... But my poor little lips, they be looking like Tyrone Biggums. All right, so that's basically how you gonna do it and like you done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm just kidding. Now I'm just going to take this matte, this Ruby Kiss matte lipstick from my local beauty supply and I'm going to go in the center. Y'all, I'm kind of just winging this so bear with me. This formula is not the best at all. That's why I never use them but I think... I think it should work for what I'm trying to do. I'm just going to blend these together. One thing, one thing that is really hard is trying to blend. Sometimes I go right over my dang piercing because it can be frustrating and then I'll just blend it I'll just like clean it up later because it's like it can be frustrating uh, I don't know how I'm feeling about this it's not doing what I want it to do came out I think I wanted more yellow and this just is not like pigment the formula is not that great for it to do what I'm trying to make it do so I'm gonna keep on piling it on This is probably as good as this color is going to get. Um, I do have a like orange color. It's like a lacquer. This I think this is yeah. This is from Ruby Kiss too. Um, I'm gonna like go around just the outer corners, so it'll add a little bit more vibrancy to it. Okay, so I added a little eyeshadow to the center of my lips. So I don't know, it's still not giving me what I was envisioning, but that's okay. Um, I know Ruby Kiss know they wrong though for that mad lipstick. So Hollywood Illuminator by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is all I use, you guys. 
I was like this close from buying Gilded Honey today. But um, oh and Ballerina. Ballerina is really pretty too. But I mean if it ain't broke don't fix it, right? No, I'm going to I'm going to get them. I'm just trying to like not buy makeup cuz again, I just told you guys I moved and I'm trying to like save and stuff like that. So, um, you got to be responsible. And I love so Hollywood. Like I have the um You know, I got the glow kits from Anastasia and I got like um some other ones from MAC and stuff like that. But I always find myself running back to So Hollywood. Every time. All right, so this wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that it inspired you, whether it be you wanting to be a makeup artist or you just working the job that you don't think is for you and you just need that extra push to just to just do what it is that you want to do. Just like I just dropped everything and I went after what it was that I wanted to do. So I hope it inspired you guys. I hope this little whatever look I got going on inspires you too to be creative with your makeup. Um, Thanks for rocking with me because I had no idea where I was going with this, okay? Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, if you like to talk through, let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to do a thumbs up and just, just keep being you, okay? Just keep being you. <laughs> Make sure that you guys subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. All in the